Davis here, Stillwater Woodcraft. Today we're going to take a look at the accoutrements that I carry to keep my flintlock fowler and my rifle running in the woods. A very basic kit. So since my battery's done, we'll uh, make this a quick one and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. Uh, let's start with the shot pouch or shooting bag. This is what is going to keep most of your accoutrements all together. Um, mine is just a simple leather shooting bag uh, copied after some different originals. Uh, on my strap I tie my uh, large knife to. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with shooting, it's just tied on there. And also tied to the strap is my vent pick. This is the pick you're going to use to clean the vent hole in your flintlock. Okay, it's just got a nice uh, leather strap, you know, not narrow, too narrow that's going to cut into you. A buckle for some adjustment for winter and summer clothes. A horn button. Uh, a button is a real good idea on your shooting bag just because when you take a uh, whipper down a hill, you don't want to dump all the stuff for your flintlock out on the ground. So, anything uh, you want to make up really, if, if you're not trying to be period correct about it, um, you know about anything will do to hold it all together, you just need something. So, there's a shooting bag or shot pouch. Now in that pouch, I keep the rest of the stuff to fire my flintlock. So if I'm shooting round balls, I have a just a small bag to keep uh, some round balls in. Okay. And some patching material. Now this patching material I can use to shoot patched round balls or to clean the bore. So in there I have a toe worm. Okay. Now this, you take uh, linen toe, not patching, and wind it in them threads and just swap the bore out. I also have a cleaning jag on the end of my ramrod, so generally I just use a piece of patching, wipe the bore out. But that's in there, in case I want to clean it that way, or this is also good for screwing in, and uh, if you want to pull a load of shot, you can screw this into the wad and pull it out. So, that's that. Now for shooting shot, I just have a little leather shot flask, okay? It's got a wood stopper and a uh, wood neck on it so the shot pours out easy. I made this myself. They're pretty easy to make. And I just have a little bag that's got a bunch of uh, leather disc that I use for wadding. I like these because they're simple, they're free basically, I cut them out of scrap leather and then uh, they don't catch on fire. So that goes in there. Down in the bottom of the bag, I keep this little brain tan pouch and inside it is my turn screw and extra flints and also leather pads to hold the flint in the jaw. Flint. A little leather pad for the jaw. Okay, the turn screw is basically just that with a screwdriver end on it to change the flints and take my lock out of the stock. This one has uh, got a loop in the end. You can stick a stick through here and so you can get a T-handle. Works really well. It's small. Stays in there. I try to keep, you know, a half a dozen new flints in my shooting bag. Nice new sharp ones because, you know, a flint might last two shots and it might last 20 shots. It's, it's just a, a hard telling on them. Generally, my guns flint last a decently long time, you know, but it, you get a shoddy piece of flint or something you never know so tie that back shut ok 
Okay. Then I'll also keep this little tin of fixing wax in here. Okay, I can use this for lubricating patches, for protecting the metals on my guns. I can smear some around the uh, lock area to uh, keep some water out of the pan. So that goes down in the bottom of there. And also in there is what's called a cow's knee. This is a piece of leather that's sewn in the shape to fit over my lock as a rain cap of sorts. And it's got thongs you know, tied around and uh, for bad weather it keeps uh, some of the water off your lock. It's not going to waterproof it by any means but this is just uh, deer hide uh, well greased with fixing wax. I keep that uh, down in the bottom of that bag just in case I need it and it has been used quite a few times so it's a good thing to have in there. So it's rainy weather we're out hunting we got to protect this pan and the vent hole from rain. So this is how we're going to be carrying and hunting on half cock with the frizzing or hammer down. What this cow's knee does is it covers the lock, okay, and then these thongs you just tie around. I tie them in a slip knot, and it helps guard this against the rain. Now, we also need a way to carry powder. So, I have just a horn. Here you can use uh, horns or powder flask or anything like that that's not going to cause a spark and might set your powder off. And then tied to my horn is my powdered measure because we want to measure every load powder that we put in that gun so if that's tied right to the horn it's just right there really convenient this has just got a uh, hemp strap on it you know it's a horn I made myself out of a raw horn it's no piece of uh, artwork by any means but uh, it holds my powder so that's the main stuff in my bag now down in my haversack, I carry some stuff that's also related to my flintlock. In this uh, little bag here, I carry some extra patching and cleaning material and a vise that is made for taking the springs out of your lock. Okay, it's usually called a mainspring vise. It just clamps on your springs. You tighten it down. It collapses the springs so you can take your lock apart. That's in there. Then I also have the stuff to make round balls for this gun. Okay. I have a lead ladle. This one, you just stick a stick in the end of it. You can melt lead down. And then a ball mold. This uh, is a 60 caliber ball mold with a sprue cutter built into the handle. down the bottom of that bag any any lid that I pick up or anything uh, salvaged bullets and stuff I just throw in the bottom of this bag and when I make some round balls I can reuse that I also have this punch okay this is a uh, arch punch in 5 eighths of an inch it'll cut perfect wads for my 62 caliber fowler I use these little scraps of leather. You just use as much of the leather up as you can. You can see it cuts a wad right there. So you can cut a bunch of them up out of uh, just scraps with that little punch. So that's basically 
my whole firearms related kit. Thank you.